Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you uh, the a uh, morning market wrap up of uh, European indices. Uh, you you are being brought this by CFDs.com, the leading spread betting and CFD brokerage firm. Be sure to visit www.cfds.com to learn more about the products and services on offer. Alternatively, you can visit the educational site, which is www.cfds.education, to certainly learn more also. Okay, let's uh, see what exactly what's uh, occurred overnight. We have Japan off on Culture Day, I think, if, if that's correct. And uh, so therefore no trading uh, overnight. And that probably explains one of the reasons why the uh, the US market short squeeze so powerfully, um, given the fact that obviously you have light volume anyway, given the fact that it's post Halloween and obviously the uh, the Nikkei is, uh, is out overnight. So there are two uh, reasons why the markets may well have short squeeze quite powerfully overnight. And now the other factor as well with regards to this morning, the Shanghai actually finished negative. So even though the US markets uh, were actually positive, the Shanghai was uh, certainly not a believer and that isn't a uh, good sign at all especially given the fact that the shanghai was down minus 1.8 percent the night before and obviously the nikkei was down in, in excess of two percent and uh the, the very same night so it certainly does not bode well <clears throat> and certainly is not a good confirmation indicator in terms of the actual rally itself uh, and now this morning we have had uh, some good data some negative data the positive side of the equation is uh, the uh, actual UBS earnings and BMW earnings coming out stronger than expected, but that was negated by AIG yesterday <clears throat> out of the US. AIG earnings certainly negative, obviously Shanghai negative, uh, UK exports certainly sliding and confidence sliding in terms of uh, the business uh, uh, perspective. Uh, now standard chart as ca capital raising was certainly negated. The any, any bullish moves from UBS given the fact that it's raised concerns uh, going forward. Uh, and obviously there's a profit warning there. Uh, US uh, expanding probe to Audi and Porsche. That certainly is not good at all. Environment Pre Environmental Protection Agency certainly expanding its probe uh, in terms of the Volkswagen scandal, the emissions scandal. So that's obviously negative uh, for the, uh, the European markets, uh, especially uh, with regards to the automobile uh, sector. And you can see that as well. It's certainly opened up negative and has been under pressure ever since. You can see the daily chart as well as a bearish engulfing candle and it's certainly coming to an end uh, in terms of this recent rally. Now the 60 minute chart, uh, you can certainly see we did push higher and obviously we've been selling off ever since. You will and should find support around here and obviously you've got the unfilled gap as well. So don't be surprised if this sell off continues unabated, okay? So that certainly is the uh, situation that we find ourselves in. Now bear with me one second. Just bring just closing out my FTSE shorts here. Second, let me just pause this video. Okay, back to uh, analysis. I'm making this video now, given the fact that I was just uh, closing out my shorts there for plus 59 on the uh, FTSE, the uh, Euro stocks, and the uh, the Aussie as well. Okay, um, now let's go back to the actual market itself. Okay, yes. So remember the uh, the fact that uh, we have this Volkswagen scandal now re-emerging, and uh, the limelight back is on uh, EU stocks, and that will negate any uh, QE effect or uh, any attempt, uh, any positive effect from QE. So bear that in mind. Uh, you also have the concern in regards to Primark, uh, certainly uh, uh, the uh, the actual uh, profits certainly being dented by currency fluctuations and sugar or deflation costs in food. And also you had a rule wear as well. Now we did have new positive news from Shell, but that certainly has been negated and overwhelmed given the fact that Primark is, is quite a, a bellwether on the actual FTSE itself and gives a, a good indication as to the uh, insight of uh, the uh, actual uh, European, uh, or should we say, uh, US, uh, US, should I say? Sorry, it gives an in good insight as to the uh, 
uh, underlines of the retail sector okay so that certainly is uh, is another thing uh, option to look at okay now the actual uh, markets themselves like I said the Shanghai is negative so no follow-through from Shanghai so that certainly is not a positive or a good sign okay so bear that in mind okay now let's bring up the actual uh, charts and uh, let's see exactly where we stand okay daily chart of the DAX certainly is finding resistance at this preview uh, this cap fill level we have 200 MA above and we do have an unfilled gap at 11 to 90 whether we hit that is is another question in terms of QE really it's going to be the QE trade that will only only allow that to obviously be hit uh, and also you have this diagonal trend line that's going to be in, in into play if we do go further higher higher now now we do have mr draghi speaking sometime today so again that will obviously influence equity prices so certainly be mindful of that okay but from my own perspective given the fact that we have an overwhelming uh, news flow or overwhelming sentiment being bearish it's going to be very hard for the markets to to certainly move higher from my perspective unless mr draghi has a trick up its sleeve now the 60 minute chart on the actual DAX itself, you can see that we've broken out of this uh, 10850 or 10860 zone. This market looks as if it wants to go back and retest that. Uh, again, very typical of technical analysis to retest the breakout zone. So don't be surprised if we hit 10860s today on the back of obviously concerns with regards to the probe being extended to Audi and Porsche. Uh, in terms of the German DAX. Now, 10 minute chart on German DAX, obviously, we are, there is a HS formation. We've actually broken below the neckline. So, again, be mindful of that. Uh, and that could certainly play out to the downside. For now, uh, I am I have closed my shorts, given the fact that uh, QE trade certainly is alive and active. And I will be looking to re enter my shorts very shortly. Okay. Now, European markets, uh, the rest of the markets, let's see exactly how they're trading. The French CAC has a HS formation, as you can see here. Right shoulder is being put in on the 10 minute chart, certainly indicating bearish price action. 60 minute chart, you can see that ever since we've closed that gap, we are finding horrors of resistance at the double top, and the French CAC has failed really to put to propel higher. So that certainly will be another um, obviously indices that I'll be looking to short very shortly. On the basis of that 10 minute HS formation. 10 daily chart, previous support equals resistance. You have an unfilled gap below. Again, the setup and the Kench CAC certainly remains weak. Now, Euro stocks, again, HS formation, the 10 minute chart, therefore bias remains short. The reason why I closed my shorts initially was you can see here 3428 is that you have horizontal support. Okay, and given the fact that the FTSE was obviously into support, again, another argument to close. 60 minute chart you are finining resistance again so any pop here at 3440 I'll be more than happy to short the euro stocks and more than happy to short the euro stocks and obviously the FTSE as well if it comes into resistance okay 10 minute chart you're already aware the daily chart of euro stocks yes you do have an argument that you need to go higher and hit the 200 MA uh, and the inverted head and shoulders target is 3590 on the back of QE uh, whether we can sustain that today is another question and uh, very very hard, unlikely from my perspective given the fact that obviously um, the markets are are hooked on QE at present and Mr. Draghi is due to speak and everybody's probably short squeezing going into it. Okay, now the FTSE 100 now, European uh, markets uh, continuous review. The reason why I was short the FTSE itself because as you have the h &S formation, you can see that I, I went short with subscribers know this. I went start showing going short at 3675, uh, average was 3677 and just close to plus 27 points just now. Okay, so uh, certainly HS formation on the 60 minute charts, so longer term perspective, yes, we, we certainly remain bearish and, uh, and the markets are expected to go lower. Now, the 10 minute chart, the actual um, uh, FTSE itself, you can see that we found horizontal resistance at 3676, and the market obviously is, uh, has certainly uh, moved lower. Now, there is a, a zone here, this is one of the reasons why I actually closed. You can see previous resistance equals support at 36 uh, or 6350 and, and the FTSE is certainly enjoying a pop-up present. Now the main chart that I would be focused on is the HS formation of the FTSE 100. Uh, you've broken to down through the neckline and you are looking to move, potentially move lower on the uh, the actual uh, FTSE itself. So bear that in mind and uh, looking for further weakness in terms of FTSE on this HS formation. The daily chart of the FTSE 100, you already know that we've broken out of this rising contracting wedge and therefore you are looking to potentially move lower and test this key resistance at 6250. And then we'll see exactly how the FTSE reacts thereafter. Okay, so that's going to be very, very crucial uh, in terms of the FTSE itself. Okay, now that certainly seems to be a market wrap up. You can see that the MDAX itself is certainly finding resistance. You can see that the tech all share is certainly finding resistance as well. There's a doji candle. Okay, with regards to the uh, volatility indices, that's again, that's going to be very important. You do have uh, a, a support zone being built on the 10 minute chart, the 60 minute chart, you can see that a double bottom has been built. 
on Rix itself, and therefore you are looking at potential reversal. And you have a bottoming tail on the French CAC, so again, that's confirming a reversal. 10 minute chart certainly is starting to thrust and push higher. 60 minute chart, you have a bullish engulfing candle and holding support and looking for a potential move higher. So everything, from my perspective, is indicating lower and uh, is indicating a risk off scenario. Okay, especially given the fact that volatility, in, volatility indices have started to rise, and you can see here that the, the, the Shanghai certainly is not confirming this this rally in EU equities, and therefore don't be surprised if you are going to get a reversal based on the automobiles side of the equation starting to reverse. Okay, folks, so bear that in mind. It's all about the automobiles, and that will certainly take this market lower. The CAC mid and small certainly putting in a doji in, uh, on a daily basis. You have resistance now. On the French CAC, you have this HS formation again uh, brewing on the French CAC. So, again, all these factors certainly indicating a negative uh, move on the French CAC from my perspective. Okay, folks, that certainly is a summation of European indices. Now, the last uh, variable I want to show you is the EURUSD. You can see the EURUSD is starting to find support on the 10 minute intraday. Uh, and you are looking at a potential support zone on the euro stocks. Now, there is a major uh, pattern on the euro stocks that's, that's, that's even more important is this inverted head and shoulders formation. So don't be surprised when this plays out and sends the actual uh, equity markets, EU equity or European equities lower. So that's certainly something to uh, consider as well. OK, I think that's a market wrap in terms of uh, the uh, summation. Again, you have uh, US data mainly. Uh, the UK data came out in line at 58.8. And that should certainly help the help uh, propel the FTSE to a large extent. That came out at 9.30. OK, folks, I think that's a, a wrap in terms of European markets. Be sure to visit CFDs.com. And uh, my bias certainly does remain negative for the remainder of the day. Goodbye now.